Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Forgive me, I am like dripping in sweat. It's already like 100 degrees outside and it's only noon. So it's going to be a scorcher today. Anywho, so um, I am going to show you guys today how to break a broody. Um, for those who own chickens, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's when one of your hens becomes um, brood, well, well, when a hen becomes broody, that means that they want to make babies. They want to lay on eggs, they want to hatch them out, and they want to be mamas. The problem with that is if you don't have a rooster or you don't want babies, they will literally sit in the coop for months on end and either starve themselves to death because they don't get out, you know, and eat and forage all day long like they're supposed to, or they become extremely mean bullies in the coop and all of your other chickens are under stress. They'll lose the feathers on the back of their heads. Um, you'll hear them screaming and flapping and thumping around in the coop every day because they're trying to lay and she won't let you or she won't let them. Um, so today's video is to show you guys how to break that broody hen out of being broody and exactly what you gotta do um, and kinda how long it takes and all that good stuff. So if you guys are interested in learning about all of that, then just keep on watching. So. Oh. Okay. So I just kind of want to show you guys exactly like the kind of damage a broody hen can do that's really aggressive. I hope this is focusing. But you can see the back of this hen's head is completely bald and it's got sores on the back because every time she comes and tries to lay an egg every day, the other hen literally is on top of her, pecking her over and over in the back of the head, pulling out her feathers. So. That was kind of the last straw when I came out here today and saw that mean broody hen on top of this sweet little red hen. I was like, all right, you're done. You're done. Okay, put your head back in there so I can close the door. <laughs> all right, and this is my broody hen. So what I did was I set up a dog crate. And of course, you need to absolutely have fresh food and water in there. So you'll see back there on that um, cement block, I have food and water. And then I do have an old sheet covering half of it. That way she's always just got shade, you know. Um, this part is always shaded in my house or like on my porch, but um, I just like to add just an extra, just for my own personal comfort. And then of course I have to have a fan on there. Um, and that's not only to keep her cool, but that's also because the reason why they're broody is because their internal, like their chest temperature is really, really hot, just naturally. Um, when they brood, they get really hot down there to obviously incubate the babies. So the um, fan is gonna help cool that temperature down. And you don't wanna put any sort of nesting box or any sort of anything like that because that's just gonna encourage her to be broody out here instead of broody in the coop. So you don't wanna put any sort of nesting or any house or anything she's gonna lay on the cement tonight. And as long as it takes, it probably will take about four or five days to actually break her of the broodiness. Um, and also what that's gonna do is it's gonna reset her in the pecking order. So when she goes back into the area with the other birds, um, she'll kind of be on the bottom side of the pecking order, which will be nice because then I won't have to um, worry about her being a bully anymore because before she went broody she was such a bad bully like literally she was the one who bullied my Orloff hen some of you who don't follow me on Instagram you won't know what I'm talking about but my Orloff hen I've been trying to um, nurse her back to health and this was the chicken that bullied her pretty much to death almost so she's just a problem and I really don't want to get rid of her and I don't want to you know obviously call her I'm not into that so um, I'm just trying to do my best to reset the pecking order and break her broodiness and we will see what we, you know, what we come up with and this is basically all you have to do to help break them. Like I said, it'll take at least probably four or five days in this cage area before she's broken of the broodiness, like completely broken. Um, and I actually did this to Tina last year and she did get broke, but then like a month and a half later she went back into broodiness. So I end up letting her just hatch eggs, but um, I won't be doing that for this hen. So we are hoping that she breaks and she stays broke of the broodiness because we, we don't want any babies and we just are fed up with her being a bully. So that is it. If you guys found this video informational and helpful, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already and would like to be, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video.
Take care.